This is the second video in my series of videos about building a homemade table saw. In the last video, I built this fence that can be easily attached using a magnet. And in this video, I'll make the miter slots in the table. These slots will make it possible to use a crosscut slid, a miter gauge, and many other attachments. I'll be making the slots about 10 millimeters or 3 eighths of an inch deep, at a distance of about 15 centimeters from the blade. That's around 6 inches. I'll be using my circular saw to cut the slots. It's probably easier to do this with a router, but I simply don't have one, so the circular saw will have to do. Initially, I wanted to use the fence as a guide for the saw, but then I realized that the blade will just run through the T-assembly. So instead, I used a piece of plywood as a guide. Now, the width of the slots should be 19 millimeters, which is 3 quarters of an inch. But I'm now cutting wider slots, so I can line them with hardwood. This should make the runners slide with less friction in the slots. So, using a 32 millimeter spacer, I made the second cut. So together with the width of the blade, I was left with a total width of exactly 35 millimeters, or 1 inch and 3 eighths. Next, I made a series of cuts to remove the material in the middle, and cleaned the slot with a chisel and with the saw itself. The whole process is very similar to what Matthias Wandel did on his homemade table saw. There's a link in the description for that, you should check it out. Now I could glue the hardwood lining in place. I cut this lining to be 10mm thick, which is a bit more than what I need, so I can cut the slot to the exact width later. Using some small wedges, I clamped the lining in place and left it to dry. The next day, I came back and used the saw to cut the lining to be flush with the edges of the table. I left the wedges in the slot to give the lining additional support while I was cutting it. Then it was time for planing. When I cut the hardwood lining, I left a lot of extra material, because I wasn't sure how deep I would make the slots. This means that I had a lot of planing to do to get the lining flush with the surface. But I enjoyed planing this wood so much that I really didn't mind. I just love these shavings. And I was able to get it completely flush. The distance between the blade and the right end of my circular saw is 38 millimeters, so that's where the guide is now. The width of the slot I cut was 35 millimeters, and after gluing the hardwood, I have about 15 millimeters left. I now want to widen the slot to 19 millimeters, which is 3 quarters of an inch. So to find out by how much I should move the guide, I can mark the distance I need in X, and that equals 35 minus 19 divided by 2, and that's 8 millimeters. So the new distance should now be 30 millimeters. So, with the guide in its new position, I'll make a 3mm wide cut, which is the width of the blade right here, and then I need another cut on the other side. So, I have to move it from here to here, so that's 19mm minus 3, the width of the blade, which is 16mm. So, I made this 16mm spacer, which I will use for the second cut. After some cleaning with a chisel, the slot was finished. I took my time to carefully repeat this entire process on the other side of the table for the second slot. It came out really good, a lot better than I thought it would. And I also added an on-off switch for the saw. Now I can use these slots to run a crosscut slit, which I'll be building in my next video. I still have a lot of work on this table saw. I want to make removable inserts, add a splitter, do something about all of the sawdust, connect the saw to the table in a different way that won't limit the depth of cut, and many other small things. So, if you want to follow the rest of the process, be sure to subscribe. If you want to see the rest of the videos I made about building this table saw, there are links to that in the description below. So till next time, thanks for watching! If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing if you haven't already. You might also like these videos.